Welcome to the Mobile Met Units in Camp Bastion, Afghanistan. Now, members of the Mobile Met Units are Met Office forecasters who deploy in uniform and come on operations. Now, just like in World War II, the Met Office here, the Mobile Met Units, provide vital information to commanders on the ground to gain the weather advantage. So this is our weather station and uh, you'll find these weather stations actually all over the United Kingdom and uh, across the world as well actually and it's our portable one that we can bring away with us on operations and on exercise uh, and this is the kit essentially that we measure the weather with. Uh, at the top there we've got an anemometer, uh, those spinning cups spin round and they measure the wind speed and with that we've got a, a weather vane as well and that measures where the wind's coming from so that gives us a wind speed and wind direction. Uh, and then a bit further down here, this lovely little thing here is uh, the rain gauge. Now you think we might not get much rain actually in Afghanistan, but that actually gets used quite a bit. We can see some uh, pretty heavy uh, rain and some pretty serious storms. Now this thing, which looks like a, I guess a beehive, is uh, where we've got all our thermometers. We've got some temperature sensors, uh, humidity sensors, uh, and that uh, gets input into the observation as well. The, the weather can affect many different types of operations from helicopter movements to other aircraft movements to troops on the ground that can be affected by heat. So the weather is vital and in fact to demonstrate that it's the first thing that pilots and senior commanders do on a briefing is get the Met Brief. So we are the first people up on, on the podium presenting what the weather is going to be for the day and that can dictate what they do on that day. So it can change their plans depending on what the weather is going to do. Uh, during D-Day, uh, you had Wrens actually drawing out the station circles on paper, drawing the weather charts. The technology has changed and we are, we've got supercomputers which produce the forecasts that we use today, not only in Afghanistan but across the United Kingdom as well, and even across the world, uh, which the Met Office forecasts for. Uh, so that technology is much, much better than it was. And a key part of that is satellites. Uh, we've only recently introduced satellites, so uh, that has changed the way we forecast as well. And all that information, of course, they didn't have in 1944, uh, which they, they would have been very useful at the time.